All right, so let's look at the NNXT. So in the NNXT, when we first load it up, this is what we see. It looks simpler than the NN19, but I'm sorry to tell you it is not. It's more complicated, but there's really one main thing that we can summarize the NNXT as being able to do that the 19 doesn't do. So let's look at the guts. So to get to the guts, you need to click this little arrow right here. Now we're on the inside of the programmer. These knobs up here, these are global. These will affect all samples. So you have a little filter, frequency and resonance on our filter. So we know what those do. We have an amplitude envelope and we have a little modulation envelope, sort of. So those will affect all the samples equally, your whole synthesizer. You're basically putting this on the output. All this stuff on the inside changes depending on which specific sample we have. Now we're gonna spend more time going into this, but you can see here, these are all the samples that are loaded, right? So when I click these, they can have completely different settings down here. Like let's crank up like the decay on this sample. And when I go to the next sample, it's back down, right? So we can have a lot more settings for all the samples. Every sample gets treated unique by all these settings up here. If you wanna change a setting for all the samples all at once, you can either do it up here or if you can't do it up there, meaning like let's say you want you know, the LFO rate to be, you know, all the way down, let's say. You could do like Command A, select all, and then change the rate, and then go back. But more on that in a minute. So that's the main difference. Other than that, a lot of what we see is familiar to us from the NN19. It looks a little bit different, but let's walk through some of the familiar things. So we have our sample area, right? It's got this kind of monochrome green look and feel to it the same way that the NN19 did. So we're going to work with this more in a minute. Uh, we have amplitude envelopes, right? This one looks a little bit different. It has this extra little hold button on it. And we'll look at that too in the next section. It's got a filter. It's got some pitch adjustment. We've seen that in the NN19. That was part of the sample section or the oscillator section. And it's separated here, but that's okay. We have a modulation envelope. Again, it's got the extra little hold knob there that we'll look at. We have two LFOs now, and we know what those are. And then we have these extra things, which we didn't really look at in the NN19 very much, but we are gonna look at in the NNXT as we explore all of this stuff. So let's move on and go to the next section where we'll explore how we're dealing with samples in the NNXT. And we'll do that right now in the next video.